Welcome back. We got another fun. Ooh, we got a. We got, this is a really good one here. So square root of fourteen. That is interesting because it's like this isn't a nine. This isn't a a sixteen or like a twenty five. This isn't a convenient number to take the square root of. The square root of fourteen. It's gonna be some freaking decimal, but that's okay. Let's just do a quick reminder of squares and square roots of some small numbers. And more than anything, let's just practice like estimating this number in our head quickly rather than like worrying too much about the calculator. So let's say we have some numbers and then we also want to find what the square of those numbers are. So number and number squared. We'll start with like one, two, three, four, and five, for example. We can go ahead and divide those out. I'll pick a different color. One squared, one times one. Two squared, two times two. Three squared, three times three. 4 squared, 4 times 4, and 5 squared, 5 times 5. All right, and this goes in the opposite direction. Like the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 14 is just a little bit less than the square root of 16. So 14 is hiding in between these two numbers. So the square root of 14 is hiding between these two numbers, three and four. Well, is it a little closer to four or is it a little closer to three? Well, the number 14 is a lot closer to 16. So I'm guessing the square root of 14 is probably just a little bit less than the square root of 16. Or in other terms, the square root of 14 is just a little bit less than four, 3.8. Sure, so square root of 14 is like about 3.8. Let's see how we did. Quick calculator on my phone, square root of 14 on my cracked screen, 3.74. 3.74 is our exact answer if you care about exactness. But being able to just estimate these kind of off the dome, pretty important skill in math. Great work, and on to the next.